Welcome to Three Stuart Steam Plants Boiler Works Part 2. In this episode I'm continuing to dismantle these old Stuart boilers. The boiler fittings are very badly corroded. I show how I cleaned out the worst of the lime scale in the second 501 boiler, followed by placing them in my acid bath. The fittings on the third boiler, which is the largest Stuart 504 type, were just as badly corroded as the fittings on the 501 boilers. The Stuart steam taps on these boilers were not corroded at all because they use a stainless steel insert which doesn't react. Cathodic corrosion still takes place on stainless steel but at a much slower rate. Once again though the aluminium washer is almost corroded to nothing. As you can see from this clip the stainless steel bit really is in good condition. Time to remove the water gauge glass from this other boiler. Same way as the first one Tap it gently with a hammer and the glass shatters. Once again though, a health and safety warning. Wear eye protection when doing this and make sure that you remove every particle of glass from the bench. I suppose I could have wrapped the gauge glass in some cloth before breaking it. But I like to live life on the edge. This water gauge fitting has a blowdown valve fitted. I can't see this being any good either. I'm carefully removing it, trying not to break it. The thread inside the water gauge, where this tap was fitted, looks to be OK. The drain tap along with all the other parts goes into the little pot of acid in a box on the bench. Tomorrow I will inspect the progress and see how much of the lime scale has disappeared. Once again you can see the lime scale actually cascading all over the place. And as for the washer, after breaking it up very easily with a pair of pliers I will consign it to the bin. This proves a point. I'm trying to get the glass out of the water gauge fitting. And to do this, I had to use a hammer and a screwdriver. I left the glass in the lower fitting. I think maybe the acid will get rid of it. Not the glass, but the lime scale that's holding it in place. There's a big problem with the check valve on this boiler. I'm using my large pair of workshop scissors, of which the ends have been rounded, to remove the fitting from the boiler because there's very little thread left. It definitely won't screw out of the bush. I had to lever it out with the point of the scissors. This is not looking good. I could attempt to repair it with some silver solder, but I really don't know whether it's worth it. There's a lot of lime scale in the bush as well. Out of curiosity, I wanted to find out how good the threads were. So I used a tap for this. The threads in the bushes for the water gauge and the check valve are quarter by 32 threads per inch. So here I'm checking the integrity of the bush by using a quarter by 32 threads per inch tap and the results are encouraging. The metal particles on the tap are not from this job, they're just on the tap from a previous tapping operation. As you can see from this clip, the once slime scale encrusted boiler bush is now nice and clean. I checked the other ones and the tap went in without doing any cutting, so that's good news. What I'm doing here is tying the boilers together using some silicone rubber tubing because I'm going to dangle them in the acid bath. Here I'm just testing the tied joint and everything's okay. In the outer part of the workshop I carefully lower the boilers into the acid. The acid in this acid bath is not very strong, it's actually Kilrock K Kettle D scaler and it's taking a very long time to dissolve the bones. I replaced the lid on the plastic dustbin and went back into the main workshop, dismantling the larger Stuart 504 boiler. This job did not start off well. The bottom cap of the lower water gauge was non-existent, it just fell apart. This is actually worse by the look of it than the 501 boilers. These three steam plants are quite old and looking at the state of the boiler fittings does bear this out. This is the worst lime scale contamination and cathodic corrosion I think I've ever seen on a model boiler. The pressure gauge and siphon are just scrap. But the good news is the water gauge fittings were much easier to remove than on the 501 boilers. And here you can see that this fitting is 100% blocked with lime scale. The water gauge upper fitting also unscrewed fairly easily from the boiler bush. 
the pressure gauge glass is cracked and it doesn't look too good inside and also the part has been repaired with soft solder. Although soft solder is okay for small steam toys, it's no good for boilers like these running at a higher pressure. Once again, when I look at the thread in the bush, which is larger than on the 501 boiler, the thread is looking good condition. The fitting is a mess, and once again, not wishing to go on about it too much, try not to use aluminium washers on fittings that go into steam boilers. On this 504 boiler, the safety valve is in quite good condition. Not much corrosion, surprise, surprise. I won't put that in the acid, I'll just put it in the box. And that is about it for this episode. I'm just going to give the pot a bit of a stir with my scriber and then I will leave it for 24 hours and very shortly I will have a look at it to see whether the lime scale's gone or not. I will also look at the boilers in the acid bath. That's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.